Hey, what's up guys, welcome to Training Reviews. So I received these set of LED color lights from a company called Novo Stella. Now this is mainly for getting the interior decorating and ambience in your studio or your apartment or your house, wherever you are to light up and give you a much better ambience and lighting experience. So this is a super long 32 meter piece of equipment. Now there's tons of these LED lights you can buy on Amazon and they're very cheap. This one is slightly more expensive. It comes just under 70 pounds. The reason for it is that it's obviously that is very long, but it also comes with an RF controller, not an IR controller. Now, radio frequency controllers allow you to use the remote control from wherever you are. You don't need to point it at a specific infrared receiver. So it can actually go through walls and doors and that kind of stuff. So it's a completely different experience when you're using it and you can change it to any different RGB color lighting as well. So today I'm gonna to give you a quick unboxing and set this up in my studio here. It is quite long and I'm gonna give you a overview of how it looks around this entire studio. I'm gonna make it go through the kitchen from behind the TV. So I'm gonna move a lot of things around and hopefully give you guys a experience of how this looks when you set it up completely. Now it does come with the 3M adhesive tape labels on the LED strips, so it's very easy to set up, but I'm gonna do it along the flooring as well so it lights up against the walls. Now my walls are white, so it should give you a very good idea of how the colors come out as well. So let's just get straight into it. Right, so inside the box, we have a few items. I'm just gonna dump all of them out. Starting off, you have the 32 meter long LED strip lighting split into two different rolls. So you can connect them together if you run out, but it gives you the option to actually use one of them and save the others if you wanted to use it at a different time. So here you have the connector at one end and you can actually do that with the other end as well for the other roll. You have some user guides as well to help you get up and running. You have the power adapter. This is your RF remote control and receiver cord as well. You have the uh, power connector to the plug there. You have 24 different strip fasteners as well. And in case you wanted to set this up on the ceiling, then you can actually do that and uh, screw this into place with all of these different little tiny screws and connectors. And then you have six cord fasteners as well. So if you've got some cables lying around um, and they're just sticking out, then you can fasten the cords with this as well and just clip them into place. Okay, so that's everything that comes in the box. And now I'm only gonna be using just one of these rolls and I'll get that set up. I won't need to use this as I won't be using this on the ceiling. I'll just put them onto the floorings and I'll just connect it with the plugs and get this up and running with the remote control and show you guys how it looks. Okay guys, so I've uh, connected one of the rolls of the LED strips. As you can see there, I've got it plugged in there and I've got it right behind my TV. So it goes all the way around. Give you a quick tour of my studio, it's behind the sofa. Let me just zoom in a bit. So as you can see, there's the LED strips. Now I've got it all the way around there. And then I take it along the floor, along the cupboard, behind all my YouTube equipment, a lot of junk here. I've turned the lights off just to show you guys how it's gonna look. So you can see the uh, white LED strips there along the floor in my kitchen, and then it ends right there at the end of the kitchen. So let me go ahead and turn this on. So I've got the remote control. I don't need to point it in a specific direction. I can turn it on from anywhere. Let me go ahead and turn this on. Wow, that really illuminates the entire room. So give you a quick tour like this. Look at that, it just lights up the floor, just looks amazing. Give you a closer look. I like the nice reflections that it gives off. This is actually quite a nice color to be honest. Now let's go through, take a look at some of the other colors. So let's try red. Wow, look at that. The whole room just like changes ambience in an instance. Just gonna cycle through some of the different colors so you guys can have a look. I actually like the purple, it's pretty cool. Yellow is not too bad. And that's the uh, white color as well. So you have the option here at the top of the remote control to basically dim the brightness. 
So I'll take it down. As you can see, it's reducing the intensity. So if you want to watch a movie, maybe at night time, dim the lights as much as you can, and you can do like that. I'm just going to put it back to full intensity. You have the options in the remote control to do DIY colors as well. So there's some instructions in the user guide on how to set that up. You can also do different effects as well. Uh, you can do flash like this. Not sure why anyone would do the flash, but nonetheless, it's there. You can do fade. So it just fades and cycles through all the different colors. And then you can also do jumping lights as well. So various different options. I'm going to leave it on a static color. And that is pretty much my studio. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how much change something like an LED strip can make in a studio as well. So, so happy with this. I'll leave all of the links in the description. If you have any other comments about this, then do drop them down below. Otherwise, I hope you subscribe and I'll catch you guys at the next one. Take care.